Where you can, folks. Ace back people's breakdown day. We're gonna do a breakdown real quick. Alright, we're gonna do a breakdown of this condenser unit real quick. Take it to the chop shop. First thing I'm start off with this blade. I always like to keep my little set key for my fan blade. Put put that in my magnet tray. time for that there we're gonna scrap it with that blade on there so I'm just gonna take this off and let it drop gotta go ahead and start all of them because that last one gonna want to try to twist and break on you that last one gonna get tight on you I'm gonna get tight. There we, there we go, just let it drop. So I don't try to get a little every little penny out of it. I just try to get a little bang for my buck. You know, a penny save is a penny earned, folks. So I'm gonna get all these quarter inch screws out of here. Sometimes the pressure switch is good. It's good to keep them pressure switches. So this is a high pressure switch right here. See how easy it's gonna be to take off here. All right, so 
that's a good high pressure switch right there. Cut my harness on my compressor. This right here, I think a, I think this is like a high limit switch when the compressor get hot. All right, like I say, like I say this is a perfectly good high pressure switch. Let's see where it goes. Right here. So it might be able to save you one day. Like I say, some people, they, uh, you know, break all this down and Strip all the wire, I don't do all that. But I am gonna say this high pressure switch. And it's a brand new uh, capacitor. Like I say, it's used, but get, get me out of trouble, I'm gonna say that. Might save me one day, cause that's 60 by 10. It reads 60 by 10, so there's no need to throw it away. a little closer look at what's going down as you can see so those are half inch screws I always keep me a half inch socket in my tool bag right here so I zip that off real quick I don't think nothing else hold, holding this down so I gotta buy me another, another grinder but I usually get a grinder and cut that but I'm gonna get my saws off cut that up Half inch. So how much y'all think we gonna get for this? Leave in the comments section below. Like I say, all, it's all I got. I don't save it up no more. I don't like to junk up my yard and I don't have, well I got a storage, but I don't like to store this stuff no more. I take it as, as I get it. me some more five amp batteries man hope they come on in cuz I ain't got number one hope I can get through this I think I got one more in the house though. all right so like I say this copper right here so this metal, we well, always want to cut that out, get more money. I need to put my safety glasses on. Use my little D-Wall lift. <clears throat> yep, 
just to get it off the ground. All right, and one. Like I say now, so all we gotta do is cut the other side. Slide it around. Gotta get it there. Like I say, so this is the compressor. Get, go ahead and get that compressor. So all we're gonna have is a fan motor compressor in the core. That's a wrap right there, so. Throw that in the truck. Yeah. Let's do that one at a time. There we go. Waste not, won't not. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this coil in. Got a little weight on it. 
I ought to be at least get a couple dollars. All right, so I ain't picking up that compressor, folks. If I say, hey, this uh, lift come in handy. Somebody asked me what's the link or where we can get where you can get this uh, get this from. I'm sure they got a website, splitslift.com. Mine came with the truck, so I don't have a link or anything like that. It's not sponsored, but they phone number, splits lift, you can call and ask them. Uh 619-713-5067. Again, 619-713-5061. Thing come in handy, man. Come in handy, you can do it with your slippers on. Nah, no, don't do it with your slip on, folks. Put your steel toe boots on. All right. But trust me, hit your toe, it's over with. Yeah, I ain't no fan of lifting up on no compressors no more. I did a couple times in my in my HVAC journey. All right, let's sit there. I'm gonna go scrap this real quick this morning, go run my little service car. I got two service cars today. I need to. I don't want all that dirt in my truck. See, see how much oil on the bottom of there? Oh, coil leaking, ain't nothing but oil. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and sweep all this stuff up. Get my magnet thing, make sure I ain't got no screws. So y'all catch my Apion G Twin, G5 Twin unboxing video. them instructions. If all less fails, read the instructions. up out the offset folks. Yeah, I used to pile them things up in the backyard and take it and, and scrap it all down. I think it's easy for me if I just do it one at a time because there's a lot of work when you got them piled up and you can have a bunch of rodents living in it in your backyard, backyard, or your scrap yard just look, look terrible. Unless you're doing a lot of installs and doing a lot of installs, making good money. Probably get you a scrap man, let them get it. But uh we try and make it a little dime right now, folks. Alright. Uh, 
All right, so my little magnet, I just go. I don't think I had no screws or nothing though. I already have my all my screws off. I actually did that at the home on the house. All right. All right, this fair people. We're gonna see how much money we can make off this car real quick. Clean, clear my truck out. It's about 8.36. I'm supposed to be at my first call at 9 o'clock, but I got a 9 to 12 window, so I'm just gonna run to that one a little later. JD Metals. All right, folks, that was about an hour worth of work, maybe a little less. Let's see, let's see how much we're gonna get paid by the hour. You getting this much an hour? Uh, yeah, yeah, I got I got folks, 86.50, 86.50. Uh, do y'all make that an hour? Uh, about an hour worth of work, 86.50, and I always tip my guy, too. All right, bro, appreciate it, bro. There you go. Thank you, all right, all right. Y'all always give my guy a little tip, you know what I'm saying, for unloading me. All right, these back people, hey, whoever gets, that's about almost 90 bucks an hour. You get, do you? If I was main paying you 90 bucks an hour right now, you better get out here and get the contract license. And you do need contract license to uh, be able to scrap the cores in my state anyway, if they're doing, doing it legally. All right, these back people, we out.